IHC views every home it designs as a custom home. So we do have a plan book that has standard plans in it. We've got thousands of homes that we've done all over the world. So you can start from one of our existing plans and modify it, or we can start from a plan that you've drawn up, or one that you've downloaded from the internet, or one you've had an architect draw for you. And we've literally started with napkin sketches on the back of a napkin and turned that into a completely custom home. So we have homes in a variety of settings. We have over 100 homes in Hawaii. We have over 100 homes in Alaska. So we can do mountain chalets. We can do plantation style homes or other tropical designs. We can do urban settings. We've got homes in northern suburbs of Seattle. We've got them in suburban areas. We've got modern designs that have shed roofs. We have flat roofs. You can have steep gables. We can have more gradual gables. So pretty much our homes will fit into any setting that you can design for. When you're designing your new IHC home, one of the first decisions you'll make is which of our timber walls do you want to use? The first timber walls we introduced in 1966 were the 5x8 and the 4x8, which have a flat profile inside and out. In the late 90s, we introduced our D-log timber, which has a rounded exterior profile, which looks more like a log. All of them use our patented interlocking system at the corners. Our latest timber we introduced was our Thermal M3 timber, which has a central foam core. This will outperform a 2x10 framed wall with our 30 bat insulation, while the D-log and the 5x8 will perform comparable to a 2x6 framed wall with our 21 bat insulation. Our 4x8 timber wall is typically used for an interior timber wall or for sheds or outbuildings that don't require meeting energy code. Um, each timber that we use uses our integral starter strip, so it's got an integral drip edge so it sheds water away from the building. It's got a relieved area so your sheathing and your base skirt butt up underneath so you don't have a straight path for water to wick underneath. All of our homes you can do a, a hybrid between frame construction and timber wall construction. So we make a matching D-log siding which will go over a framed wall and look like your conventional or your rounded D-log. We also make a 1x8 cedar siding that will match the 5x8 or the 4x8 timber. So you can do garages with conventional framing or with timbers and you can have hybrid construction where part of the home is framed and part of the home is timber wall. IHC started drawing homes by hand with pencil and mylar in 1966 when we opened. We transitioned in the 70s and 80s to using two-dimensional computer-aided design or 2D CAD. So we were still drawing lines on a paper, but we were using it with a computer so it was faster. And then in the early 2000s we transitioned to 3D computer-aided design where you start working with objects, which is much faster and allows us to do complete 3D models of your home. So you can see your home and what it's going to look like and fly around it on the outside and fly in on the inside before it's ever built. And so that's a big advantage of the 3D computer-aided design. And we have fly-throughs that we can send to you and you can look at to see exactly how your home is going to look before you ever cut a piece of wood. The Taylor home was completed in 2019 and they moved in in early 2020. This home is an example of a high-end home on the New Jersey shore. This fly-through allowed them to look at what the home was going to look like before it was ever completed. Tom's been engineering IHC homes for over two decades. He has an engineering degree from MIT as well as one from Carnegie Mellon. And his design efforts help us assure that IHC homes are amongst the strongest in the industry. We view every home we design as custom. So whether you're building an urban home in downtown Seattle, a mountain home, or a beachfront cottage in Hawaii, will help you turn your dream into your completed home. So we can design something that will match your lifestyle and your budget. IHC introduced engineered timber walls to the industry in 1966, and we've been the leading supplier of engineered timber wall systems for the industry for over 50 years. IHC buys kiln-dried inland western red cedar and ponderosa pine directly from the mills. They're all U.S. mills, typically in Idaho and Montana, and we buy those the, the one bite and two bite material, bring it into our factory here. Everything is graded by our employees, so we buy, buy premium select tight knot cedar, but then we regrade it to our specific standards so that we have the highest appearance grade in the industry. After that's graded and, and milled here, it's sent down to our lamination plant where it goes to a 125 ton radio frequency press where every timber, either our 5x8, 4x8, D-log or thermal M, is laminated and then it comes back to our facility where it'll go through our molder. 
most of the components of an IHC home that are produced here at our factory will come through our six head molder here. So each individual timber, when it comes back from the lamination plant, will go through the molder to give it a flat surface if it's a five by eight or the rounded surface if it's a D-log or flat surface again on both sides with chamfered edges if it's our Thermal M3 engineered timber with the foam core. All the components like the end caps and the starter strips that we've talked about earlier also are produced through the six head molder. So it takes a piece of wood on one end and it has six knives that spin at 6,000 RPM and surface every surface of that timber to exactly what you want it to be and what comes out on the other end is a finished product. Every IHC home is produced in this manufacturing facility and then shipped anywhere in the world. We're going to go over and take a look at their cut line which is where after the timbers are laminated and molded in our six head molder they come to our cut line where each timber is cut to length and our patented interlocking system is put in place. So the first machine that we see here is the cut saw where everything is cut to the specific length for a particular pattern in a home. And then as it moves down the production line, we'll see the dado machine, which puts one half of the patented interlocking system in it. And then after that, two of the custom notcher machines. These are all custom made machines that were designed to put in our patented interlocking system. So after those timbers come out, then they're laid out in a pattern. Every pattern is stacked one on top of the other, and we have a different employee than the one who cuts the home. We'll do the inventory in the home and compare every timber length and location of the patented interlocking system to what your plans are. So we make sure that we're focused on the quality of everything that we ship out of the factory. As you can see, this timber is labeled MBC. The first letter is the wall that that timber is located in, and the second two letters indicate the endpoints for that timber. So this the MBC timber is in the M wall, and it runs from the B wall to the C wall. So as you can see on our cut line, we have an example of our cut sheet hanging here. So you can take a look at the, at the uh, cut sheet, and you can see where the M wall is located and what the two endpoints are for the B wall and the C wall. So in this case, here's the M wall, Here's the B wall and the C wall. So that's the location where that timber is gonna go in your home. So we use this cut sheet for all the manufacturing here, but the builder will also use it on the job site so that they can lay each timber in place exactly where it goes in their home. Unlike a log home, each timber in a pattern is exactly the same because it's an engineered timber. So we don't have to number all those MBC timbers one, two, three, and four and stack them in exactly that order. Any timber can be timber number one and any timber can be number two in any given pattern. So the cut line is where the magic happens. That's where each individual timber that's been laminated and milled to exactly the standards for any particular timber wall is cut to the exact pattern for your home. So here's an example of a timber that's been cut to length, notched and dadoed and is ready to be labeled for that particular home. IHC also has a complete custom millwork operation. So every component of your home, we can mill that to our design specifications. We also can do completely custom trims. So we have a, a bandsaw that we can use to resaw materials. We have a planer for planing things down to our exacting specifications. A gang rip saw that can be used for taking bulk material and turning that into trims. A 53 inch wide belt sander that can be used to make sure the finishes are pristine for everything that we ship our six head molder where all of our trims run through, a table saw for doing angle cuts for things like wedge, as well as another planer. So every component here, we can use completely standard cedar trims, but we also can do exotic trims or custom cove molding. We can do things using mahogany, we can do things with Ipe, Sapili, and so we can do exactly what you want for your custom home. So one of our standard plans is the Broken Arrow, and this here is all the cut timbers ready to be shipped for one of our completed homes that's a modified Broken Arrow. All the other materials that are part of your IHC home package that are not manufactured specifically by IHC are consolidated here at the IHC manufacturing facility. So those would include doors, windows, garage doors, insulation, and finished roofing. We're excited to have the opportunity to share this virtual tour of the IHC manufacturing facility. If you'd like to come see this facility in person, please give us a call. We'll be happy to set up an appointment or do a Zoom call to talk specifically about your project or sit down and talk with you here at our facility about your design. We'd love the opportunity to tell you how we can turn your dream into an IHC reality. IHC develops a detailed materials list based on each custom home we design. 
The materials list is up to 14 pages long and includes all the materials required to complete your home. That would be each piece of wood, each piece of hardware, and they're all packaged into units which are wrapped in plastic and then the plastic wrapped units are loaded onto a truck and covered with a tarp in transit so that there's no exposure to the weather. If we're shipping overseas or if we're taking something to Alaska or Hawaii, it will be loaded into a container where it's protected from the weather while it's in transit. Once the materials arrive on the job site, the homeowner or the contractor will unload the materials using a forklift and place them around the job site where they're needed to begin construction of the home. IHC provides the most complete materials package in the industry, so if you're comparing us to other suppliers, make sure you're comparing apples to apples. For us, about a third of our customers are owner builders, and that means that they're going to play some role in the construction process. Some might strap on the tool belt and do the construction themselves. On the other end of the spectrum, some might not touch a tool, but they're going to hire all the tradespeople directly. Another third of our customers will work with a general contractor that we've referred them to. And the final third will select a general contractor that IHC has not worked with before. So we can work with you in any of those three ways. IHC also provides one of the strongest building systems in the industry. So we have testimonials from customers whose homes have survived Category 4 hurricanes, earthquakes, and fires with little or no damage. And we've got those custom owner, customer testimonials available to you if you'd like to take a look at them. One of our customers' homes even had a tree fall on it during an ice storm, and they had very little damage. The only damage was to where the impact site was for the tree, and when they lifted the tree off, it snapped back within a sixteenth of an inch of plum, and they walked in the front door and saved themselves thousands of dollars in repair work compared to a conventional framed home. One of the advantages of our pre-cut cedar building system is that it goes up in a third to a half the time of a conventionally framed wall. So that means less labor on the job site and that's part of the reason why IHC homes are comparable in cost to conventionally framed homes and less expensive than log and timber frame homes. We had a home in Idaho that was completed in less than six months. The time that it took from the foundation being completed to when it was dried into the weather was less than six weeks. That's typically three to six weeks in an IHC home. That's why IHC homes are using less labor in the job site, so that means they're less expensive to construct. So our completed costs are comparable to conventional frame construction, less expensive than log or timber frame construction. So IHC does the design of the homes, we pre-cut the materials at our factory, and we ship it to the job site. But we don't view our job as completed until you move into your home. So we're gonna be with you every step of the way to make sure that every aspect of the construction process is successful. IHC for over 50 years has focused not just on providing a high quality package of materials but also having an enjoyable process and the majority of our customers love the process of building their homes in addition to loving the completed home that they live in. IHC has done thousands of homes all over the world. We have homes on five continents, homes in all 50 U.S. states, as well as 18 countries. So we've designed for tropical locations. We've got over 100 homes in Hawaii. We've designed for alpine locations. We've got over 100 homes in Alaska. We did a hotel up at the Denali National Park up in Alaska, which the last three years has rated the number one hotel in all of the Denali properties. So we can help you design anything that you want to build, whether it's a restaurant, a church, or a custom home or a cabin, and we'll make it exactly what you want. The Lewis home was completed over 14 years ago and is a great example of taking one of our standard plans, which was the Broken Arrow, and modifying it to meet exactly the needs that they had. So they had a sloped lot, so we added a daylight basement, which had multiple bedrooms in it for their children as well as guests, and had the large deck upstairs that could allow them to enjoy the sunny weather that we always have in the Seattle area. Building a home is overwhelming, and you did walk us through the entire process. IHC, it's not just about sales and getting a product out the door, you're also an engineer. You've gotten us through the toughest project in our lives. You just kept that smile on your face and just said, we can fix it, we can make it better. It's just not, you know, IHC, it is Rodney, just connecting with you as well. So I think that's so unique and different and I think that makes it a different experience altogether working with you in IHC. It's amazing what a log home lifestyle can do for you. It's just such a different way to live and enjoy a home. Everybody seems like they're always in the same room. It's easy to have conversations. You know, you're not broke up as a family. 
there was never, I don't think, any part of our plan that said, no, it can't be done. It was, okay, let's just shift this a foot or two to accommodate the plumbing, or, you know, we're gonna have to work with it a little bit, but all in all, whatever, what we drew out is what we got, and that was really nice. It's warm, cozy. When we bring fans over, they're like, this just feels like a warm, cozy home. It's not a house, it's a home. One of the biggest benefits is being able to work with Rodney. Very knowledgeable, well-respected, I think, within the industry. Just knows from start to finish how to really prep this house so it comes out well. The Jeffries home was completed over 13 years ago, and it's a great example of a completely custom plan that we did for the customer. In fact, we started with a sketch of their home that was over 10,000 square feet that the customer had provided. When we told her it was 10,000 square feet, she said, well, I don't want something that large. The home still ended up being 5,800 square feet, but it's a beautiful example of taking the customer's ideas and helping them turn into a plan that not only meets the needs that they have, but fits the budget that they hope to build for. When we had initially learned about IHC homes, I was against it at first, until I saw a friend's home, and her home was absolutely stunning. So we met with Rodney, sat at a restaurant and drew up a plan on a napkin. And I actually took my napkin to him to design our home. He sketched it out and said it was like over 10,000 square footage. But he brought it to a point that it was exactly more than what I could have even imagined. And this is the result of that napkin. He made it easy and simple. It wasn't like I was talking to a contractor or a builder, it was like talking to a friend. It was the best experience we've ever had in building a home. The Taylors moved into their home in early 2020, right before the pandemic hit, and they've told me that it was the best thing they ever had to have that to quarantine in over the ensuing months. This home is on the Jersey Shore and is a beautiful example of a completely custom home that IHC designed in collaboration with a local architect that the customer had retained. It's a large home that has a excellent pool on the exterior and three different levels and shows a great mix of stone and cedar and uses our patented Thermalam 3 timber. The experience with IHC was great. I loved talking about it and planning it but then when we got to see the 3D model and I could actually kind of walk through, that was interesting. It made it more real before it was actually physically built. You could just see as it was being built that it was just a solid house. Um, it's a tight house and it's a beautiful house. Even though the, the house is the size that it is, it still feels cozy somehow and I think that people feel love when they come through. One thing that was big on my list, I did not want just another cookie, cap, cookie cutter home that looked like the rest on the block. And this house is so unique. It just really helped us the home that was perfect for our family. As soon as we moved in, it just felt like home. IHC's goal is to help you turn your dream into reality. So whether it's a custom cabin in the woods or a large primary residence in a suburban setting, let us help you take your ideas and turn them into a lifetime of enjoyment in your dream home. You can find us at www.cedarleader.com.